Hello fellow paranormalers and welcome to this uh, vlog and this channel. Um, we have lots of discussions on this channel and I, I really I really welcome anyone to participate. Uh, you know, there are there, there seems to be a core of people that like to comment and you know I don't, I don't claim to know everything about anything, to be honest with you. We're, we're all learning, and uh, the only way I believe that we can learn is to ask questions. You know, put ideas forward, put knowledge forward, and ask questions about stuff. Anyway, this, this discussion is about scrying, okay? Scrying. Now, for anyone that doesn't really know what scrying is, scrying is a is a, another communication method um, where you get into a state of mind uh, while looking at a, a device, a mirror, black mirror typically, or obsidian mirror, or an onyx mirror, something along those lines. Generally, they tend to be black, uh, but you can use just a normal mirror. You can use water, um, you know, you can use anything naturally that sort of generally tends to reflect something, you know, it reflects. And um, again, this is prompted by an article that I read and also responses that I've, I've uh, read fairly recently about people. It's a bit like using the Ouija board. Um, you know, there are, as soon as you mention Ouija board, people immediately start talking about, oh, devil, the Satan, you know, mind control, and you, you know, you're, you're going to get haunted and, and whatever. And, and the same with scrying. Um, I mean, I've been scrying since I was really, really young, and, you know, uh, I've never thought anything of it, to be honest with you. It's the same with people that read cards, and it's the same with people that use Ouija boards. There's, there's a level of ignorance, um, I think, and a, and a massive lack of education on the part of some people who make comments like, oh, you will possess, be possessed by the devil if you use a Ouija board, or, you know, you, you use a scrying mirror. And <coughs> I find it quite entertaining that people would think like that. Now, on the flip side, which is about what this is going to talk about now, <coughs> excuse me, on the flip side of that, I can see how using devices like that are, can be, if you like, harmful, or they, they can actually have a negative effect, okay? Now, like most things, and now this doesn't just apply to scrying, but from a psychological point of view, like most things, if you go into doing anything, if you try to, let's say you, you, you want to, you know, do a project of some sort, if you go with it with the attitude of, <coughs> excuse me, if you go in with the attitude of, oh, this is not going, oh, sorry, this is not going to work and it's going to fail or, you know, I'm going to be possessed by the devil or I'm going to be talking to, you know, whatever, then guess what? Your brain will tell you that that's going to happen. And that is what usually happens because you've already thought that that is going to happen. If you are a depressed, you know, person that suffers from depression and negative thoughts and, you know, things that, that, you know, um, from a psychological point of view, have a negative effect on your physiology and your mind, your subconscious, then if you like, negative things are going to happen to you, bad things or, you know, are, are, are going to happen. So if you go in with that mindset of, you know, this is, this is dangerous, uh, this is going to harm me, you know, this could do something to me. Um, you know, it then guess what? It will. It will have that effect. And this is this is the mistake people make when they they make assumptions about certain things. I mean, 
you know, if, if you were to drive a vehicle, drive a car, always thinking that around the corner you could die, or that you are going to die in a car accident, well, guess what's going to happen? Your, your mind will make sure that, that that will happen. Your brain will, you know, if you keep telling yourself stuff like this, then that's what's going to happen. If people actually really believe that Ouija boards and um, scrying mirrors and dowsing and fortune telling and all of these other things are bad, then that's what's going to happen to you. I hope that make, makes sense. Um, but on, on flipping that over again, the, 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 the positive side of things, so getting your brain into the right frame of mind, accepting that this is just another form of communication, that scrying is just something, is a, is a technique that you know, you need to prepare for, you need to get your your mind in a certain, you know, positive state so that you go into it and you need to obviously have a way of getting out of it. Like, for instance, driving. You know, you go into driving knowing that, yes, the potential is there for you to have an accident, but you you should really be going in there saying, I'm going to learn how to drive the best to my ability and also how I can get out of a situation if I really need to, you know? Like being observant around you all the time about what other people are doing so that if a situation occurs that's bad for you, then you've got a, a way of, of coping with this and dealing with it really, really fast. So if something was to happen or something, you know, occurred or happened to you while you were scrying, for instance, that you would know what, you know, how to deal with it, how to get out of that situation, how to close it down, you know, it's the same with any paranormal investigation. When something happens negatively, you need to know how to deal with it. Uh, you can't just run away from a situation like that. It's no different. I, don't, I find it interesting how people seem to treat the paranormal world as if it's a completely separate, uh, completely separate sort of entity to everything else that's going on, if you mind the pun. Um, it, it, is, it is quite interesting. It's like, it's like people seem to think that there's something else, you know, there's something like around the corner that, you know, you just mentioned the word scrying or Ouija board or dowsing or any of these things. And then, you know, all of a sudden it opens up some floodgate of demons that come through or... I, I just find it odd. I find it really, really strange. But, again, I think we're, you know, generally we are brainwashed or people are generally brainwashed from TV programmes and the silly little programs, paranormal programs that are on TV, which, you know, give this impression that, you know, this whole area is, is not to be uh, talked about or played with or, you know, practiced. Um, I just, I just think it's a shame. I think it's a shame that people have these limiting beliefs about, you know, the paranormal world, really just find it find it a bit of a joke but anyway I hope that's been useful um, you know I do I do hope that people will give some feedback about their own experiences or their own thoughts about things you know um, that's that's how we learn uh, it's it's you know common sense this is the thing that seems to be missing a lot from the paranormal world really in general it's a generalization I keep calling it the paranormal world I'm lumping you know everybody from from what I call real investigators you know and researchers to the people who are just using it for entertainment that to me is the paranormal world and everything in it um, like like most industries you know now You've got the people who are the hardcore doers 
and practitioners of something and then you've got everyone else you know the other end is is people who just want the name you know they just want the name they just want the glory they want the the ego massage whatever it is that satisfies them the other the other end and you can apply that to just about everything you know you can apply that to any industry hobby um, interest you know that's going that um you know that people are, are, are involved in so anyway I shall stop blabbering thank you very much for watching and uh, I shall see you again in another video